using chopsticks with thick gloves on. It's not so easy. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Grizzly and Bear Overland. Last week we were hanging out with Karin and Kuhn from Land Cruising Adventure in Kyrgyzstan. They've been on the road for over 15 years, such an inspiration to us. We went rock climbing and skiing together. Also, we felt really honored to have a visit of a neighbor and his young son who is a master of this traditional Kyrgyz instrument. In the meantime, we took Bear out of the city and back to the mountain. Taking a day trip from Bishkek today to a place recommended by our friend Ulan. It's called Isik Aka. So we're gonna check it out. Plus it's an excuse to go for a drive. We're gonna do a little hike, try and find a waterfall. The scenery out here has just been amazing. There's not much snow in Bishkek. We've come up about a thousand meters in altitude here and this has been our road for the last 30, 40 kilometers. It's so cool. Some good experience proper driving in the snow. We've got the chains with us. We haven't needed to put them on yet. It's not icy, well, it's, it's slippery, but it's, it's sort of fresh snow. There's a little Frenchie in there. So we're in Isik Atta, walking to the waterfall and it's bloody freezing. Is it cold? A little bit. Where are my gaiters today too? Never used them in snow before, but I figured they'll work the same as in sand and keep the snow from running down inside my boots. We're pretty bloody excited because I wasn't expecting it, but it looks like it's gonna be frozen. And neither of us <laughs> have seen a properly frozen waterfall before. We're gonna chill out underneath a frozen waterfall and uh, have a cuppa. Exciting, exciting stuff. But look at that. It's dusted with a bit of snow, but that's a frozen waterfall. Look at it. That is so sick. Ah, oh, it's awesome. Wow, hey. for me that just blows my mind coming from Western Australia. That is one hell of a bloody ice block. Look at it, that is so awesome. Behind those icicles there. And then a big bloody block of ice above me. Very, very, very impressive. I'm buzzing. Not sure if you can sort of see that, but the water is running fully behind the ice there and it looks so cool. Like a curtain of water running, going all the way down. Coming out the bottom there through the icicles. What do you reckon, Steffi, pretty cool? <laughs> She's not feeling so good today.
So I've just been flying the drone around up in the sky into the mist up there away from this frozen waterfall. The leftover from the moisture up in the sky there is frozen. But yeah, anyway, ice on the drone. That's the first for that one. Look at your lunch. Oh, and I've got lunch down here. We're eating. What have we got? <laughs> Salad. Salad with chopsticks <laughs> out here at the frozen waterfall. So that's it. We're done. Oh. There's Steffi trying to make her way down the glacier. <laughs> it's actually just a big ice block we're standing on. And it's with a slight covering of snow, which is the only stuff to grip on. I already slipped on my bum and nearly went down into the river when I was flying the drone. So we've got to be very, very careful here. But it was an interesting little hike. First frozen waterfall we've seen. So cool adventure. We're going to head back to, um, to Bishkek now. But I'm going to keep filming just in case we get some action. safer down here in the water. As long as my boots don't leak, I'll be all right. <laughs> you think you're on your skis? <laughs> oh. Our next episode will be dedicated to Bear. We had to modify some brand new shock absorbers. Exciting stuff. See you next week and until then, take care. Bye bye.